Thanks for joining us at noon. I'm Lisa Gonzalez. Now the wind is no longer an issue, but it was yesterday. Residents though are still feeling the impacts of yesterday's storm and those strong wind gusts. Our team seeing down trees today as crews work to clean up the aftermath. Thousands of people are still without power right now. We're bringing you team coverage with meteorologist Heather Waldman looking at what we can expect for today's forecast. Mike Desell is in live tracker three with a closer look at the snow. But first, let's go to KCRA 3's Melly Wingo showing us the work they're doing to clear trees that came down during the storm. The tree limbs and branches we're seeing here scattered across Sacramento's McKinley Park. Just one example of the widespread storm damage we're seeing across the area after this weekend's big wind and rainstorm. A few miles away, it was a big crash. A tree removal job homeowner Steve Karouche knew needed to be done by the pros. All of a sudden, boom, and then we went outside and everything was crashed onto the house. The team from Fair Oaks Arborist using a crane extended 60 feet up to remove the downed trees and ever so skillfully get them prepared for the chipper. Now that the wind and rain has stopped, the work for these crews is just getting started. It kind of comes in really quick all at once, so we try to get to as many to as many people as we can. Area arborists telling us they will be busy for the next several weeks after all the calls they're getting following the weekend storm system. Reporting from Sacramento, Melanie Wingo, now back to you. And taking a look at the statewide outage map for electricity, you can see it just lit up today after the strong winds. This morning we had more than 500,000 customers without power across California. That's now down. It's down to 412,000. Uh, earlier this morning, PG&E gave us an update in the repairs so far. Our first priority is to respond to dangerous situations such as down power lines. Um, that becomes a priority to make sure that we can address those very quickly and keep the public safe. Then we work to make assessments and get power back on to as many customers as possible. And taking a look at SMUD's power outage map right now, and during the peak of the storm on Sunday, 200,000 SMUD customers were, th were without electricity. Now that number is down to just more than 33,000. The good news is, is we are seeing improvements, and we're getting some pictures into the newsroom of some of the storm damage. High winds and gridly left and moved the silo off its foundation. You can see it on its side there. Many people are also dealing with downed trees, and this is at the Archer Apartments Complex on Fulton Avenue in the Arden Arcade area. And let's take a look in Grass Valley, a tree branch down and a viewer tells us the wind also then took the neighbor's kids trampling for a bit of a ride. Remember, you can send in your storm damage photos to us at KCRA.com. Just upload them there. While crews are cleaning up tree branches in the valley and foothill snow is still falling in the Sierra. KCRA 3's Mike DeSell is in Live Tracker 3 with a look at this morning's road conditions. So we've been driving in Live Tracker 3 all morning leading up to noon and take a look because this is the picture of the day. A very snowy white Sierra continued active day of weather up here uh, along Interstate 80 over Donner Summit. Our day started uh, coming through Auburn. We saw lightning east of Auburn to start our day and then that quickly turned into snow showers right around that uh, you know 6,000 foot elevation level. This was Kingvale. Uh, by the time daylight came up uh, we saw those Caltrans snow plows out there near Donner Summit doing a yeoman's job uh, keeping the interstate safe and largely free of any significant problems throughout the morning commute. Uh, by the time we got to mid morning heavy snowfall falling in the Truckee area. This right near that uh, McDonald's and uh, Starbucks along Highway 89 at that first stoplight heading south off of Interstate 80. Just a lot of snow uh, coming down here. Another active day of weather, which brings us right back to the view out of Live Tracker 3 all morning long. Snow covered roads and of course snow covered hillsides. In fact, so much active snow we had a little bit of ice form on our roof camera here. But the thing is, if you're driving up here, you got to have those chains. You can see how much snow, ice and slush is still there on the roadway. So chain controls up throughout the entire morning up here in the Sierra as we've gotten another healthy dose of snow in this latest round of weather. And keep in mind that is snow that we 
dearly needed going into this weekend. We covered uh, the Snake and Snow Survey of the season showing just how far behind we were. This isn't going to cure our needs for snow, but boy, it's a good shot in the arm uh, for the start of February. That's a look, a little tour here in the Sierra. Mike to sell in Live Tracker 3. And our KCRA 3 weather continues with meteorologist Heather Waldman. What's happening right now? Well, as Mike just said, yeah, a beneficial snow for the snowpack, but just kind of making a mess of things in the mountains. We no longer have chain controls up on 50. We do still have them on 80 and on 88 as well. You can see the snow here fizzling out a little bit to the south of the Tahoe Basin. Also watching some showers. Sacramento has been mainly dry so far today. It's been a little soggier, though, into the foothills, especially around Auburn, Grass Valley, down through Placerville. These showers have been dropping anywhere from two tenths to up to half of an inch of rain over the past three hours. Not enough for widespread issues, but there may be some ponding on some of those lower lying side streets. Modesto in and out of some light to moderate rain at the moment. Stockton had some rain a couple of hours ago, now catching a break. But I want to show you the satellite picture. Kind of interesting here. A lot of clouds on the east side of the valley through the foothills up into the Sierra. But to the west of Sacramento, there's been a couple of hours of a decent break. A lot of blue sky. I want to show you a view here. This is from Sutter County looking to the west. There's a line of showers and thunderstorms that's kind of developing along the coast range. Not much in the way of lightning just yet, but we're going to keep an eye on that as it rolls through the valley because we are thinking that there could be a couple of embedded thunderstorms that do develop as this gets closer to Sacramento, likely between about 2 and 4 o'clock this evening. Lisa, that'll be something to watch for for the rest of today. We'll look at the seven day forecast in a few minutes. All right, we'll check back in with you then. Sacramento Regional Transit light rail service will not resume today. The agency says the storm caused significant damage to the system. It's also dealing with the power outages that we told you about. Crews are working to repair the damage. Sacar RT says service will be restored when the damage is repaired and power is back on. Shuttle buses will be available between stations on the blue and gold lines. Classes at all Sierra College campuses are canceled today. That means students at Rockland, Roseville, NCC, and Tahoe Truckee won't need to go to campus until Tuesday. The college made the decision because of the ongoing storm and power outages. And with us facing another weather impact day, now is a good time to download the KCRA 3 app. Make sure you have it on your phone. You can use the interactive radar, get our by our forecast wherever you live. Watch live stream newscasts. If your power goes out, you know you'll have it on your phone. It's free to download. You can also stay updated on our website, kcra.com. Very easy to remember.